So this one is going to take slightly longer than two minutes, uh, but I am being timed in the background here just to explain the cyber heel piece. So there's quite a lot of moving parts to this, but I'll try and uh, give a quick overview and a run through. So this is the main cyber heel screen that you're greeted with, but I'll go through the fix buttons, which uh, is probably more commonly where you see cyber heel. So uh, what you can do, cyber heel requires wing get to be rolled out. This can be done on mass. Uh, whereby you can select a load of machines and even if they're not online uh, and you click resolve when those machines do come back online and are seen um, it will roll out uh, the wing get capability so that cyber hill works everywhere so that's usually what this screen is used for the other area that, uh, that this screen is used for is just to do a cheeky install across a lots of machines of anything from Winget. If you know Winget, it's a great repository that's managed by Microsoft. Uh, this will allow you to do on mass rollout of software. And again, even if the machines are not online, uh, it will roll out when those machines actually come back online. Um, so that's the main use. Oh, there's one other use that I'll just show you from a cyber hill perspective here as well. So it's fairly sort of RMM type functionality, but you can change cybersecurity config. So if firewall uh, was disabled here or anti ransomware, if that was disabled here, you could change that and configure that remotely. Uh, you've also got the ability to rescan the agent. So one of the comments that we get from RoboShadow is how often it's updated. If you have a Cyber Hill license, everything that you do uh, within Cyber Hill is quite commonly uh, uh, is, is, is uh, updated or, um, automatically and very quickly. Uh, so you can do that here you can obviously do the standard shutdown and restart of machines as well uh, and look at software across the board so we've even got a geolocation piece within the cyber hill uh, element as well but probably where this is most where you will most commonly interact with cyber hill is just when you're doing tidy up so let's take an example here uh, got group, we'll ungroup these applications as are. So here we've got Wireshark, which um, features quite commonly on some of the educational videos that we do for RoboShadow. But here your options are, do I update this via Winget? So Wireshark will be within Winget. I will just click there and say install and it will bring up the version of Wireshark effectively. Um, uh, uh, and that's a, a common way of actually resolving that issue. If this machine is not online, uh, it will do that um, uh, upgrade when that machine comes back online. So that was option number one there. Option number two, is obviously use your own XE or MSI file, sort of bring your own software. It's a very common way that most RMMs actually work. And then thirdly, currently, is remove completely. So this is what we advise people to say. Wireshark is a fantastic piece of kit, but usually it's for a support reason. So quite often you can just remove that software completely. So we do have within RoboShadow, most of the capabilities actually hard um, remove software itself. It's detected that for some reason that we don't have the uninstalled strings for this, it will tell you that it can't be manually uninstalled. So to resolve uh, this option without obviously going onto the box itself and doing a manual uninstall, the advice here would be uh, just to update that via the Winget capability, uh, which is fairly easy to do using RoboShadow. So hopefully that just gives you a general overview in terms of what all of these fix buttons do uh, around the software as you see them. Uh, but again, what we're trying to achieve uh, with CyberHill, what we're trying to do is effectively take the sting out of the remediation element. Most of the time, 99% of the time, if you have vulnerabilities, you just need to update software. And CyberHill is there just to help make that that little bit less painful. So thanks ever so much uh, for watching this video.